Buenas tardes y gracias por venir. It's great to see, it's great to see so many of you here passionate about your party, passionate about your future, passionate about your country. And it's great for me to be back here in this beautiful city. Hola, Valencia! And uh, what, what an incredible backdrop. I'm not sure I have ever addressed a, a crowd from inside a bullring before, dear Pablo, but I'm so happy. I'm grateful that you all look uh, much more friendly than the Bulls. And assuming this stays this way until the end, it's a great pleasure for me to be here amongst you today. Sebastian, it's a pity you could not be here with us, but uh, Pablo, thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me here today. It's a great honor to be able to briefly address this wonderful crowd. Not only are we political friends, but uh, the bond of what unites us makes us part of a big political family. It's a family of similar outlook, of shared values, of hopes for the future, hopes not just for our respective countries, but for the European Union, for Europe as a whole. And I'm delighted to be able here with you today, not least because in Pablo Casado, I believe that the People's Party as a leader with energy, vision, ambition, and wisdom. I think, Pablo, you understand that what unites us all here today is a belief in the power of politics to make a difference to everyday lives of people across this great continent to do it not through increased taxation, not through burdensome regulation or overbearing interference from the state, but through investment, through reform, and the creation of market conditions that drive entrepreneurship, jobs, growth, and increased productivity. And that means exactly what we did in Greece, cutting taxes, reforming the labor market, developing green technology, using smart tech and digital innovation to drive better outcomes for our people. And these are the answers to the populism of the extreme left and the extreme right. This is why we are collectively, as European People's Party, the most successful political movement in Europe. And our politics are the politics of reform, of renewal, and of freedom. And our politics, dear Pablo, are centered around individual freedom, solid public finances, a strong economy, and the defense of human rights and democracy. Dear Pablo, I don't want to take much of your time because this wonderful crowd here is here to listen to you and not to me and to give you a big round of applause. I just want to share with you some of the challenges that my party, Nea Democratia, faced as we moved from the politics of the past to the position that we occupy today. Because as you know, no political journey is easy. It requires belief, determination, fortitude, courage. Most of all, it requires desire. Desire to change, desire to renew, desire to compromise, desire to work harder for longer in pursuit of one's political goals. My dear friends, I became uh, Prime Minister of Greece now 
for over a little of two years ago. We came to power on the back of crippling austerity and as a progressive alternative to the failed populism of the left. But our journey began long before that. Nea Democratia or Nueva Democracia is not a new party. We celebrated our 47th birthday earlier this week. But I do believe that today, dear Pablo, we are a different party. In the same way that Partido Popular is a different party, a party that stands for something more progressive than even our founders could have imagined. When I became leader of uh, Nea Democratia back in 2016, the goal of making a difference for the people of Greece was still a long way off. And just like you, Pablo, I was not the favorite to win the party's leadership, but I did. And three years later, we won the general election because we promised not our supporters, but the Greek people, a new vision of renewal that they could believe in. And I can see that all of you today share the same vision for renewal. Renewal based not on slogans and empty promises, but on real change. And this is exactly what we did, Pablo. In spite of the pandemic, in spite of the migration problem, in spite of our difficulties with Turkey, we stuck to our commitments. We lowered taxes for every Greek. We cut bureaucracy. We introduced a digital state. We modernized our party in order for Nea Democratia today to occupy the entire space between the right and the progressive center. And the Greek people rewarded us with an absolute majority in the last elections to allow us to implement our program. We have reached beyond party lines. We brought together the best and brightest experts across the public and private sectors into government. And as I told you, we have prioritized digitization and the digital reform of the state, making it easier for everyone to access our central digital government platform. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm here to tell you is that this can be done. The populace of the extreme left, the equivalent to your Podemos, were defeated in the recent election by the progressive center-right party. And once uh, you come to power, I am sure you will share the same vision with us, a vision about not just a progressive Spain, a vision about a progressive Europe, a Europe that protects its borders, a Europe that puts European defense at the center of our policies, a Europe that uh, makes sure that the funds from the RRF are used to improve the lives of every European, to lower income inequality, and to make sure that we can all aspire to a common future. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take more of your time because you are here to listen to your leader, your uh, new promising leader of Spain, Pablo Casado. It's a great pleasure, a great honor to have invited me here today. All the best. Thank you so much.